There you go, Betta. It's a nice black worm for you. His caudal fan appears to have recovered. And he's quite happy in this tank. Since I have been having good success with potting soil to grow plants, I added these clippings of water sprite to the substrate with some potting soil. Simply took a clump of it that had been soaking in water, a fistful rather, and dropped it around where I'd planted these sprigs and then capped it off with some deep river gravel. So hopefully they will take off and I'll have more plant life in my 75 gallon other than the Anubius which continue to do well in the tank with liquid fertilizers. After several days in my potting soil tank the java fern attached to this driftwood ornament appears to be doing fine. Java moss doing very well in the potting soil tank and dwarf Sagittaria finally appears to be taking off. Broadleaf Sagittaria looks very nice and water sprite and water wisteria grow very quickly in this fertilized substrate. I've moved these 48 fancy meal guppies to this 10 gallon to grow them out in preparation to trade them off to my favorite pet store. But I'd like to remove about half of them to another tank because the bio load is simply too large for a 10 gallon and I want them to be comfortable as they grow out so I have another 10 gallon prepared and I'll move about half of them to grow them out for about three more weeks and hopefully they'll all color up by that time and I can match them with 48 female guppies and get some store privet for my hobby. That's much better now that I've removed about half the guppies from this 10 gallon. The bio load is reduced and the aquarium won't require water changes nearly as frequently. Here is the new tank that I set up to temporarily house about half of the guppies that I intend to trade off in a few weeks. Just some Mopani driftwood to hide the heater and a glass to feed sinking pellets to the guppies. I think it looks very nice. They all appear right happy in this tank. <laughs>